Driving Ivan here with a 1972 Nova SS, but it's no normal Nova SS, Optima Ultima Street Car. And uh, there's so much to say about this car that I'm not even going to say it. I'm going to let Chris, the owner, say it. Chris, how's it going, man? How's it going, Ivan? Uh, hey, pretty good. Tell me about this monster uh, Nova. Oh, well, this is uh, my Nova. I've owned it 24 years now. Known as the All Over Nova. Uh, if you notice the tag frame, it says "built, not bought," <laughs> and that is uh, definitely a true statement. Okay. I've put uh, well over 330, almost 340,000 miles on this thing now. Wow. But uh, yeah, it's got the Optima Search for the Ultimate Streetcar stickers on it because I wear them proudly. I've competed in that race four or five times now. Won the Spirit of Event Award at the Atlanta race, which got me a trip to Las Vegas to run at the SEMA show a year and a half ago. Uh, Optima, if nobody knows, is a tricky competition where you race, you do autocross, you do road course, you do start-stop challenge, you do design and engineering. Your car is also judged on being a street car and do a 50-mile road rally with it to prove it's an actual street car and not a race car. Uh, but the car is driven. It's got a Hotchkiss suspension underneath. Walk of it. me around it. Let's let's go. All right. Point We're everything out. We got, uh, what's what's this doing? That is a tow hook for when you're on a road course. That's what I figured. If you happen to wreck, you got to be pulled off. Aren't they usually metal? <laughs> Sometimes metal. They can be strapped. Okay. All right. I mean the way it goes. Uh, we'll walk around. We got oh, so wheels, tires. They're not stock. <laughs> Ford's line wheels. Okay. Uh, made by Ford's line out of Dayton, Ohio. They're about one of the best wheels you can get on the market. Made 17 by nine and a half on the front, 17 by sevens in the, or 17, nine and a half in the back, sevens on the front. Car's been mini tubbed a little bit to accept a 275 wide tire on the back. 342 rear axle on the back, posi. It's got Hotchkiss springs on the back. Inside, we got a uh, Tremec 5 speed there. It's a little filthy. Looks like it's uh, driven. Exactly. S same exact speedometer as in my Chevelle, 70 Chevelle. Yep. 307 convertible in my first car. So kinda, same speedometer there. I can see that. Kind of kept it looking the 70 style. Trash nice. all over the floor like it's used and Excellent. all the abuse. I like to see that. I like Most people yeah. don't, but when they look at my cars, they see that too. So, yeah, yes, sir. Upgraded <laughs> seat belts to hold us in that need to be upgraded because they're outdated this year. Oh, yeah, are they? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Bucket seats to hold us in, though. Just put a set of Corbu, uh bucket seats in there. Yeah, there you like go. I say Tremec 5-speed, TKO 600 5-speed in it. Okay. 5-speed, uh, wow. So cup holders. Don't forget the cup holders. Yeah, we got to have cup holders. Didn't have that in 1972. Uh, there is air conditioning and heat in the car. Nice. Uh, classic auto air for comfort. Uh -huh, All that good course. stuff. A couple gauges there in the center. Right? Yeah, autometer gauges. Just tell us the engine vitals, what's going on. All right, nice. Then uh, working our way to the front, forged line wheels again. We have 350, is that accurate? Yep, it's it a is? ZZ6 okay. 350. All right. Aluminum head, Chevrolet GM bullet in there. All right. Uh, front suspension, we have Church Boys A arms. We have Hotchkiss springs. We have Ride Tech HQ shocks. We have Hellweek sway bar. Got a uh, Lures 12 7 to 1 steering box on it. Keeps everything tight and uh, handy in the turns. Wow. MSD ignition box, optimal battery for our charging system and all that. Keep everything going. Uh, quarter mile time? Quarter mile, it'll run uh, right around 12 90, 13 0s. All right. Quarter mile time. Zero to 60, ever done that? I uh, haven't done zero to 60, but uh, top speed so on the car, right now, I've been 148 in it. <laughs> wow. So, but like I say, it's built for all around driving. Mm -hmm. You also notice here, we got aftermarket air conditioning. We got aftermarket cruise control. Wow. All I that like stuff it. for comfort. The car has been driven coast to coast. I've gone from Ocean City to Santa Monica Pier. Wow. It's been to Detroit. I've been to Texas. It's been in 39 of the uh, awesome. states. So That's awesome. Definitely a driver. All right, you Chris. Know? Well, there you go. 1972. Nova SS, yes sir, 
looking good and thanks for that wonderful description thank you wow and, and a driver that you've owned for decades that is so cool I, I love it that's what i like to hear you like it too smash that like button for me follow me at the real drive and ivan on tiktok drive and ivan cats on youtube and also on instagram have you subscribed yet you can just search drive and ivan in any car you want to know what i drive what does drive and ivan drive the first video has a picture of my chevelle but the accurate video which is a music video that i did check out my music videos too that one's got my accurate collection that i have right now got quite an assortment of cars i like them all american foreign and i love to hear a great story like that chris awesome. thank you so much for watching i'm driving ivan thank you thank you sir driving ivan. that's me